Audacity Basics for Journalists. Audacity is a sound editing software program. It's free, open source, and it works on Macs and PCs. It's a nice option for journalism students who are learning to record and edit audio. This tutorial provides a general overview of the program. I'll cover some of the most commonly used features, and then I suggest you move on to written tutorials, which are great for learning more advanced techniques. I'm running Audacity on a Mac, if you're, so if you're using Windows or Linux, some of the features may look a little different, but the concepts are the same. You can download Audacity from its website, and if you're doing this for the first time, you also want to make sure that you download something that's listed under the optional downloads. It's called the LAME MP3 encoder. Uh, it's listed as optional, but you need to download and install this so you can export your edited audio files as MP3s. So follow the instructions for downloading Audacity onto your computer, and then download the LAME MP3 encoder. And it's important to know exactly where you save this program, because the first time you try to export an MP3 file from Audacity, it will ask you for the location. You must show Audacity where the file is located. You only have to do this once, but you'll have to do it. The first time you open Audacity, you want to check a couple of the preferences. So I'll go up to the top, Audacity, Preferences. Click on Quality, and just check a couple of these. Uh, the default sample rate should be 44100. The default sample format should be 16-bit. And then look under Libraries for the MP3 library version. This is uh, where you're going to locate that optional download, that lame MP3 encoder. So hit Locate. This is where you enter the, inf the information about the location of that. And then hit OK. And now you're ready to begin. I'll give you a quick overview of your workspace. In the top left-hand corner, you have Play, Record, pause, stop. To the right of those, you have six editing tools which you'll use to edit your audio. To the right of that, you have playback and record meters to show your sound levels, and these are important for determining the overall levels of your sound. And this is your workspace down here, the gray area. So I can go ahead and record my voice and record whatever I have to say. One, two, three, stop, playback. Voice and record whatever I have to say. One, two, three. And this will recreate a track. And you can do a couple things here where it says audio track. I can give it a name. And you can also mute individual tracks. This is helpful when you're doing multiple tracks. And you can delete using the X in the top left hand corner. Next thing I'll show you is how to import audio. So if you're bringing your audio in from a separate audio recorder, you want to transfer your audio files to a WAV file, a WAV format, which I've already done. And I can say File, Import, Audio, select my WAV file, and it will import my interview here. Next I'll show you some simple editing techniques. The first editing tool you want to use is the Selection tool, it looks like a capital I. Use this to do all your selecting, cutting, and pasting. So I can select a section of my audio track, say I want to get rid of it, I can hit delete, and Audacity will automatically remove it and slide the audio track over. I can also go back, edit, undo. Uh, say you want to take out a section but you don't want Audacity to slide it over. You want to leave that gap so you can isolate just the sections uh, you're working with. I can again highlight it and go to Edit, Split Delete. And this will delete it, but leave that gap, which is useful for moving things around. Uh, so you can also use this Edit uh, feature at the top to cut and copy. And uh, say you want to duplicate just a section that you want to keep, uh, I can highlight it, hit duplicate, and it will put just that sound bite in the next track and leave that top track unchanged. Like when you're using any program, you want to save it often as you go along. File, save project as, give it a name. 
All right, the next editing tool I want to show you is uh, the time shift tool. This looks like a line with two little arrows on the end. This is used for moving uh, audio clips around. But first you want to use your selection tool, the tool you're just using to cut and paste and edit. Uh, select that, take the segment that you want to move, highlight that, then select your time shift tool. And I can go back and I can move this back and forth. So again, use the selection tool first to highlight what you want, then use the time shift tool. The next tool I'll show you is the zoom tool. Looks like a little magnifying glass, so you can click on it. And then you can bring your magnifying glass down here on the track. And if you click, uh, it'll zoom in with more detail so you can see the details of your waveform and isolate just the parts you want to save or cut. And to zoom out, hit shift key, hold it down, and click it again. And I'll zoom back out. The next tool I want to show you is the envelope tool, which is used to adjust the volume. It looks like two little white triangles. So if you select it, you'll see that a blue line appears around your track and the cursor will change into two small arrows. So if I click and drag on the edge of the waveform and pull it towards the middle, I can lower and raise the volume of the track. I can also set points along this line, so if I click at the beginning, can lower this. So what, what will happen here is that it will fade in and get louder. So the envelope tool is great for creating fade ins or if I wanted to fade this out I could pull it all the way. So it will fade all the way out to nothing here. So to remove an anchor point you can just uh, select it and then slide it to the right or left until it runs into another one and it'll take it right off. So that's the envelope tool uh, which you use to control the volume of each track. Audacity also has a feature which allows you to remove unwanted background noise. So say you have a hiss of an air conditioner uh, that's behind your interview. Uh, what you can do is select the uh, selection tool and then what you want to do is just isolate a section of your audio that is silent except for the noise that you want to filter out. It can only be a couple seconds long. So this is a background noise. I can select it. And you go up to Effect and select Noise Removal. Uh, and what it will do is ask you uh, to select that noise profile and it will isolate just that noise. So go ahead and hit get noise profile. Then what you want to do is select all of the audio that you want to take that sound out of. Usually this is the whole track, uh, but say I want to just remove it out of everything here. I can select it all and then go back up to effect again, noise removal, and say OK. And it just filtered out that background noise out of that entire section. The final thing I want to show you is how to export your file. So when you've completed your editing, uh, you want to export it as an MP3, so you can put it on the web, put it in an audio slideshow, or use it. Uh, first you want to convert all your tracks to mono files. Now mine are already mono, uh, but if yours are stereo, uh, you want to convert them uh, to mono. One way to do this too is to uh, select all your tracks select one, hit shift, then go up to tracks and select mix and render. And what this will do is mix everything together into one continuous track and again mine is uh, mono which is what you want. So now I'm ready to export. So I just go up to file, export, and I want to uh, make sure I export it as an mp3. Now if you're doing this for the first time, 
This is where it will ask you for that location of your lame MP3 encoder. Again, you only have to do it once the first time, uh, but it's got to be able to find it to do that. And I'll hit save, uh, and you can add some data here, or you can skip it. And now it is exporting my file as an MP3, which I can put on the web. So again, this tutorial is just an overview. I've only covered a few things, uh, but hopefully it'll get you started. Uh, to learn more details, I suggest you get to some written tutorials. Uh, you can kind of walk through step by step. Uh, so the Audacity website, uh, if you click on Help and Tutorials, it has a bunch of step-by-step -step guides here, which are really great. Uh, another good resource for journalism students is the Knight Digital Media Center. So if you Google that in Audacity, you'll see this tutorial, uh, which will walk you through step by step. Uh, and finally, there's a website called toolkit.com. This is created by Mindy McAdams, who teaches online journalism. She has an audio section on toolkit.com uh, with a couple PDFs for editing with Audacity, which are really good for uh, teaching yourself how to use it.